Anything you want in life is on the other side of learning a new skill and then putting it to action. Now, I know not everybody wants Lamborghinis and fast cars, but whatever it is that you want, it is on the other side of you learning a new skill and then putting it to action. So some of you, you might want nice houses, you might want to go on expensive holidays, you, you might just want to quit your job and you want to work for yourself and be your own boss. But no matter what it is that you want in life, and the sky is the limit, the only thing holding you back is what is inside your brain, what you know, your knowledge, and um, you take in action. So the only thing really what differentiates a poor person to a rich person is that the rich person knows things and takes action, and the poor person doesn't know those things. So even if he wants to take action, he can't, because he doesn't even know what those things are. So, um, you know, if you look at, like, many of the world's richest people, like, if we look at, like, the dude that set up Walmart, Sam Walton, he spent, well, he's dead now, but he spent a lot of his day, most of his days, trying to figure out what his competition were doing and to see what other people were doing just to learn more, just, just so he could learn what other people knew that, that he didn't know. And he was one of the best, and even he was still learning. I mean, there was one story that he went into someone else's, a competitor store, and he was rolling around on the floor with a tape measure. He's measuring the distance between shelves and stuff. And um, I think they arrested him, actually, because <laughs> they thought he'd lost a plot or something like that. Uh, another story, Warren Buffett. He's one of the world's richest men, multi-billionaire. Uh, he owns many, many companies around the world. He owns a big stake in Coca-Cola. He's widely known as one of the richest people in the world. Even he spends around about eight hours a day reading, learning from others, because even he knows that there is still more to learn. And he says, the more you learn, the more you earn. And I've definitely noticed a difference. The more I've been learning, the more books that I've been reading, the more people that I've been talking to that are in business, the more skills that I've learnt and then put into action, the more my bank account has gone up and up and up and up. And it's not just with me, it's with everybody the same. You know, you're not going to go from being broke to a millionaire overnight. It's, it's going to take a little bit of time. You've got to take it a step at a time and every day learn a little bit more and take action. So, you know, I've read many books, I've spoken to many multimillionaires, and I've taken many online courses myself. I'm always constantly trying to learn more stuff, and then I'm taking action, putting this stuff to use. Uh, a lot of people always say, oh, when people are rich, they're born into money. I mean, that is rarely the case. I think something like 90% or 95% of millionaires are self-made. They started from zero. And starting from zero is actually a big advantage because you learn every step along the way. If you get born into being a millionaire, you don't know the steps that are required to get to that point in time. And, and you don't actually know how to stay there. So often when somebody inherits a lot of money, uh, they often end up spending it all and they're going broke again. The people that seem to do the best usually start from zero and they have to learn the steps, they have to learn everything. And they've normally got this hard burning fire within to succeed. When somebody's already, if somebody gets born into a lot of wealth, it's just normal to them. There's not really any drive to keep it going and to, and to, to build upon it. Not, sometimes there is, but not, not normally. Uh, when, when you're born and you're just average or you're poor uh, and you have that drive, that deep burning fire inside that you want to succeed, you, you're forced to learn. You're, fo you're forced to, to learn new skills and to put these skills into action and to try them. So, you know, a lot of people say you learn by making mistakes. And yet, you, you, you kind of do learn from making mistakes. But the clever people, the smart people, they learn from other people's mistakes. Mistakes can be very, very costly and very, very time-consuming. And we've only got a set amount of, like, years left in our lives. And we haven't got enough of these years left, really, to, to test everything for ourselves. So the only shortcut to getting to where you want to be in life is to learn from others and take in action. And yes, you're going to make a few mistakes along the way, but you want to try and save the, the, the biggest mistakes and the biggest errors. You want to leave those to somebody else and learn from those people. And you can read, you can learn all that stuff from books, from YouTube videos, from speaking to other people that have done what you want to do, from online courses. I mean, it all helps. Audio books, e-books. I mean, whatever way you find the easiest way to learn, uh, I mean, I like to do a mixture of all of them. You know, I read books, I listen to e-books, e I buy online courses, 
I watch many YouTube videos, I, I speak to many successful people, and um, I keep every day try to learn more and more and more. And I've definitely noticed, guys, the more I learn, the more my bank account keeps going up and up and up and up and up. And sometimes you read something, it doesn't always sink in straight away. Uh, but then you read it somewhere and subconsciously it burns itself into your brain. Even if you think you might not remember it, it subconsciously, it burns itself into your brain. The next time, maybe in a couple of weeks' time, you might read something again, similar or the same. And then a little alarm bell is going to go off. Ah! And it's going to sink in a little bit more. And as you start reading more about what, what uh, more wealthy people do, uh, or, or, you know, it depends what your goal is. I mean, your goal might necessarily, it may not necessarily be to make a lot of money. Everybody's got different hopes and dreams. But whatever the goal is that you want, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about mainly sort of money here. Uh, you know, if you want to go after more money, but you might be going after you want to build more muscles. You might want a better relationship. I don't know what it, whatever it is that you want in life. The only thing really stopping you there, the main thing stopping you is the knowledge and you taking action. I see many people that they read many books and they take all the online courses, they watch all the YouTube videos, they're always talking about this sort of stuff, but then they never take any action and they never get anything done. And then I see other people, they, they're working so hard, they're trying to set up businesses, they're, they're working their ass off and they're trying and they're trying and they're trying and they keep making mistakes. 10, 20 years down the line, they're still failing because they're making these silly little mistakes that you could just learn by just talking to somebody else or by picking up a book or by, or by getting into an online course or like a YouTube video, you can just learn these time consuming and costly mistakes in like minutes sometimes, sometimes even in seconds that could take you years and thousands to try and figure out for yourself. One example is for me, when I was learning the eBay game, I mean, I did buy some books, I read some books, um, I took some online courses, uh, just sort of like business in general and Amazon courses and stuff uh, and selling online courses, uh, watching many YouTube videos, speaking to other people that do it. And um, I still tried some stuff myself and I made many mistakes myself. I spent about $50,000 in a couple of years of trial and error to see what works and what doesn't work. And, um, you know, if I could have got this information from somebody else, that would have saved me all that time and all that money. But, you know, the, the, the stuff that I was doing, I couldn't really see anyway. You know, maybe somebody teaches it somewhere. Maybe there's a book on it. I mean, I've read some general eBay books. Uh, but the stuff that, that I know is kind of stuff that I've sort of figured out for myself. And also a combination of talking to other people and, and figuring this stuff out and reading books. But, you know, if I would have had a book or a course or, or YouTube videos teaching me this step by step, uh, I would have saved that 50 grand and the two years of testing and testing and testing. And I could have learned all that in like maybe a couple of hours. Uh, so I'm going to stop waffling on now, guys. Uh, you know, basically, the, the conclusion of this video is, if there's something that you want, you've got to realise it's possible. And if you learn the correct things that there are to learn, for you to be able to do that dream or that goal, and you take action, there's no reason why you can't do it. If you take, say you take a multi-millionaire, and you take a homeless person and you swap over their positions. You give all the money from the millionaire, you give all that money to the homeless person, you give the house and everything and everything he owns, you give all that stuff all to the homeless person and the multimillionaire, he is now the homeless person. It's not gonna take that long and they're gonna be swapped back. The homeless person, he, he only knows how to spend money and I'm not trying to be derogatory, I'm not trying to put anybody down, this is just facts. Uh, a homeless person or somebody that hasn't got much money, they only know how to spend money. They don't know how to make money. So although he has got a big lump of money, he's not going to know how to spend it. He's just going to spend it on stuff that, that not, is not going to make him any more money. He's just going to burn through it all. It's all going to be gone. Whilst the person that started off a multimillionaire, he still has the same knowledge inside his brain and he's still got that fire within and, and, and that, that ethics to take action and to get himself back to where he was before. And, um, you know, a lot of people don't agree with me. A lot of people think, oh, it's, it's only luck. It's only down to luck when, when people are rich. And there's some element of truth to that. Some people are lucky, but we all fall into lucky situations almost every day. And the deciding factor is if you take action or not. So many of us, almost all of us, fall into these lucky situations almost every single day, but don't take action. I said it twice because I want that to sink in. It's very important. 
So, you know, one, it might just be a simple YouTube video. You could have watched a, sim a simple YouTube video. You've seen an opportunity and you could have either jumped on it and you've taken something from it and you've taken action. And that was your little lucky, lucky little spark that got you going and you've taken action on it and now you're successful. Or you could have looked at it and you thought, ah, you know what, that's not for me, that's for someone else. And you could have walked away and you've walked away from that lucky opportunity. Also, uh, the more times you do something, the more chances you are to get lucky. Just look at roulette, for example. I mean, sometimes you win it, sometimes you lose it. I know it's a bad example because the house has always got an advantage. But all right, you lose, you lose, you lose, you lose, but eventually you win. You, eventually you will win a game. The same in business. Uh, you, you might lose and lose and lose and lose, and then you win. The difference is with lottery, I mean with gambling and with business, is that if you pull off a good business, the amount of money that you're going to make from that business is going to be so hundreds, thousands of times greater than the little bit of money you've lost by trying. Uh, so you can make your own luck. And by keep repeatedly doing stuff and learning new things, you're eventually going to get lucky. Saying you've got a 1 in 10 chance for your business to succeed. You just try 10 different businesses. And just, just the odds alone will say that, that one out of those 10 businesses are going to succeed. Now, I'm not saying you should start 10 businesses all at the same time. I'm not, I'm not saying that at all. You want to focus on one business at a time. If you try and do 10 things all at the same time, you're going to fail at all of them. He who chases two rabbits catches none. You want to go after one to start with. Uh, and then by all means, once you've got that going or you've figured out you don't want to do it, you don't like it or it's not working out and you've given it enough time, then maybe switch up and, and, and move on to something else. But when you're trying to figure out a business that you want to do, find something that you like doing. You don't have to necessarily love it because you might end up hating it. So find something that you don't mind doing, find something that you like doing and uh, make sure that it's something that you can monetize. If other people can make money at it, that means you can too. And the only reason that they're making money at it and you're not is because they're doing something differently. They know something that you don't. They're taking a different amount of action that you're not doing. So if somebody else is making money at something, you can do the same. Not always. Sometimes you might not be physically up to the job. You know, not everybody can be Michael Jordan, for example. Not everybody's that physically fit and healthy and that athletic to be able to pull it off. But you know what I mean? You know, if somebody else has done it before, there's a good chance that you can do it too. So um, that is it for this video, guys. The more you learn, the more you earn. That is said by the man himself, Warren Buffett, multi-billionaire. So um, if you want whatever it is that you want in life, just you just have to learn and take action. That is pretty much as, as what it comes down to, as simple as it can be. I know I waffled on a bit on this video, but you know that's when it comes down to its core, simplicity, learn, take action, and the stuff's going to come. Maybe not overnight, but it will come. Get rich quick schemes don't exist, but there is a shortcut, and that is learning from others and taking action. All right, guys, I will see you soon in another video.